يا أيها الذين آمنوا اركعوا واسجدوا واعبدوا ربكم وافعلوا الخير لعلكم تفلحون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my brothers my sisters welcome back to our beautiful Ramadan series strengthening your iman you noticed in the episodes before this we spoke about in the Uh, one we spoke about marriage and the next we spoke about children and the next we spoke about divorce and today bi idhnillah we want to talk about adultery or fornication subhanallah in the previous episode we went through a verse in surah al-baqarah chapter 2 verse 2 to 8 where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the waiting period you know the idda for three waiting periods or for three periods and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about uh, other things we went through surah at-talaq chapter 65 verse 1 and verse 6 today my brothers my sisters straight to surah at-nur chapter 24 we would be looking at few verses starting from the beginning of the surah where allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says subhanallah سورت انزلناها وفرضناها وانزلنا فيها ايات بينات لعلكم تذكرون الزانيه والزاني فجلدوا كل واحد منهما 100 جلدا ولا تاخذكم بهما رافه في دين الله ان كنتم تؤمنون بالله واليوم الاخر وليشهد عذابهما طائفه من المؤمنين الزاني لا ينكح الا زانيه او مشركه والزانيه لا ينكحها الا زان او مشرك وحرم ذلك على المؤمنين والذين يرمون المحسنات ثم لم ياتوا باربعه شهداء فاجلدوهم فاجلدوهم ثمانين جلده ولا تقبلوا لهم شهاده ابدا وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا مِن بَعْدِ ذَلِكَ وَأَصْلَحُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَّحِيمٌ Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala says beautifully my brothers my sisters we would start let's do the translation of the first ayah as well the first one although it's not related to what we are talking about but Allah says this sura this is a sura which we have sent down and made that within it obligatory and revealed there in verses of clear evidence that you might remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says beautifully my brothers my sisters and in the next verse allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says azaniyatu azani fajlidu kull wahidin minhuma 100 jalda the unmarried woman or unmarried man found guilty of sexual intercourse lash each one of them with a hundred lashes ولا تاخذكم بهما رافه في دين الله ولا تاخذكم بهما رافه في دين الله and do not you know do not be taken by pity for them in the religion subhanallah subhanallah then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in kuntum tu'minuna billahi wal yawmil akhir wa lashara adhabuhuma ta'ifatun minal mu'minin do not be taken out of pity for them in the religion of allah this is the rule so take it out do it as allah has said it and let a group of the believers witness the punishment being carried out subhanallah why it's going to be a lesson people are going to see they will learn their iman would be strengthened they would understand subhanallah we ask allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us azani la yankihu illa zaniyatan aw mushrika then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the fornicator does not marry except a female fornicator or polytheist then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says you know وحرم ذلك على المؤمنين and marriage to such persons has been made unlawful to the believers allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says 
you know azani la yankihu illa zaniyatan aw mushrika the fornicator the male does not marry except a female fornicator or polytheist then was zaniyatu now the female fornic you know fornicatress la yankihuha illa zanin aw mushrik the same for her she should not marry she will not marry except someone who is just like her a fornicator or a polytheist man we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us and such persons has been made unlawful to the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالَّذِينَ يَرْمُونَ الْمُحْسَنَاتِ ثُمَّ لَمْ يَأْتُوا بِعَرْبَعْتِ شُهَدَىٰ And those who accuse chaste women and they do not produce four witnesses, what should you do to them? Allah says, فَجْلِدُوهُمْ ثَمَانِينَ جَلْدَىٰ You should lash them with 80 lashes, subhanallah. وَلَا تَقْبَلُوا لَهُمْ شَهَادَةً أَبْدًا And do not accept from them testimony ever after. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. وَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْفَاسِقُونَ And those are the defiantly disobedient. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us. But, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ تَابُوا مِنْ بَعْدِ ذَلِكْ وَأَصْلَحُوا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُرُ الرَّحِيمُ Except for those who repent thereafter and reform. For indeed Allah is forgiving and merciful. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us, my brothers, my sisters. Surah to Nur is a beautiful surah. Look at what we've read and it's amazing. How won't your iman be strengthened after having looked at these ayahs of Surah to Nur, chapter 24? We read verse 1 down to verse 5. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us lessons. My brothers, my sisters, stay away from adultery. Stay away from fornication. Stay away from accusing people without reason. And Allah is most forgiving, most merciful. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala surely and definitely to grant us protection. It's beautiful, my brothers, my sisters. I believe we are, bi idhnillahi azza wa jal, benefiting from this series. We said marriage, spoke about that. We said children, spoke about that, we spoke about divorce, and now we're speaking about adultery. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us protection. Aqulu qawli hadha wa sallallahu sallam wa baraka ala nabina Muhammad. Subhanaka Allahumma rabbana wa bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ارْكَعُوا وَاسْجُدُوا وَاعْبُدُوا رَبَّكُمْ وَافْعَلُوا الْخَيْرَ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ